Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha if you're brand new here and for the last video of the week I thought I'd share with you some lip products. So I purchased some brand new lip products from Revolution. They are matte. That gives you a little bit of a clue as to what I'm going to be sharing with you today. I'm always thrilled when I open the box and see this. I never get bored of this. I love it. Absolutely love that little touch there. Okay, so I have five of the brand new matte liquid lipsticks to share with you. Um, first of all, I'll go through the packaging. Uh, then of course, I will share with you swatches. And then of course, I'm gonna be sharing with you a trial. So looking at the packaging itself, um, it's the regular black the lid. Um, shiny lid you've got an R now in the top of the lid and it is actually matte so it's not clear anymore okay so you can see that there it has revolution on there matte and then of course the shade name is very very tiny so I'm going to do my best I still haven't got that uh, magnifying glass which I need but it reminded me again that I must get it because this is so tiny but I think I can just about manage to read it for you okay so that's a little look around the actual product these retail for five pounds you can pick them up at the moment from revolutionbeauty.com all links will be down below as always so let's get into swatching so let's have a look see if i can read the first one this is matte um, and i think this is chauffeur i think yeah chauffeur i actually went to pick these up because of this shade now of course you know if you've been watching my videos regularly you will know that i am obsessed with the chauffeur lip liner it's the only one that I really use. It goes with every single lipstick that I well, want to wear. I just think it's an outstanding shade. So when I saw that they had the shade Chauffeur in this matte lip collection, I had to pick it up. And of course, I picked up a few more to test out as well because I absolutely love a matte lipstick. I uh, suppose why wear regular lipstick when a matte liquid lipstick will last all day um, and I love that about liquid lipsticks so let's swatch this one so you can see it's untouched I'm really excited about this um, that's the doe foot applicator it's one of those I suppose long and thin and flat applicators that work so well to really line your lip and oh, it's got quite a strong scent to it it smells sweet, but it doesn't smell like um, vanilla, but it's quite sweet. Um, I'm not quite sure what it does actually smell of, um, but that is the shade Chauffeur, but it is very sweet and I really do like the scent actually. And I'm sure as with the other scents, um, it will probably disappear once you apply it onto the lip. The next one is called Brunch. So that one looks like that. From the packaging, th this one looks much more of a neutral shade with no pink in it. Um, but yeah, so the first one was Chauffeur. This one is Brunch. So Chauffeur Brunch. I think I'll swatch them all on my arm and then obviously I'll swatch them all on my lip. The next one is called uh, Ballerina, I believe. Yep, yeah, Ballerina. So you can see this one's a little bit more pink. Oh, these shades are absolutely beautiful. So that's Ballerina. Gorgeous. It's pink, um, but it's got a little bit of a, I don't know, like a peach tone to it as well. Gorgeous. Then this one is called Doll's House, I believe, or Doll House. Um, and it's much more pink, much more brighter. So, Dollhouse. Again, absolutely beautiful. So, Dollhouse. I went with shades that were an all rounder, um, you know, from Very Nude, which I believe this next one is. And then this one is called Darling. 
you can see that's much more nude. Oh, I love the scent. So darling there. Okay, so there are all five that I picked up. So now what I'm going to do is try them all on the lips. I'm going to start off with Chauffeur again. Um, I really do love that scent. Okay, so here we go. Mm, I really do like that applicator. It's It really does line the lip really well. So that is Chauffeur, that is beautiful. Not sticky, not gloopy. Oh. oh, I just love that colour so, so much. It's nude, but it's got a little bit of pink to it. Drying down now um, quite quickly. Not that quickly that you couldn't obviously put your lips together and manoeuvre the product a little bit. But yeah, it's now drying down. I'm just going to let the first one dry down so you know how long it takes to dry down. But I really love that colour. No um, stickiness, no tackiness. Oh, I just love it. Um, what I will say is that um, I could, um, I, I noticed the scent when I was applying it, but I can't smell it at all now. So obviously, if you don't like any kind of scented products on your lips, then this one does disappear once it's dried down. Obviously, when you've got the wand under your nose, you can smell it, but it does go once it's dried. I can't smell it at all now, but I love that colour so, so much. Now, I haven't got any wipes, so what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm using a cotton pad today just to um, remove my liquid lipstick um, with a little bit of product on. But now it's dried down. It's oh, it's like that soft powdery look, and it's not thick. It looks like um, my natural lip. Um, I also really like the look of it in the viewfinder. It looks soft. It looks powdery, and I'm obsessed with this shade Chauffeur already. So let's remove this. So it didn't take too long to dry down. Okay, so that's that removed. Um, just going to pat my lips down with my brush. And before I continue, I'm just going to get one of the stickers. Now they all came wrapped in that cellophane and once you remove the sticker, you then lose the weight. So I'm just going to read that. So it's a net weight of 0.1 fluid ounce or US, it is three mil of product there. So you can see that. Also, I'm just going to look on it. It doesn't say anything about cruelty free or vegan and I can't see anything like that on the sticker either. Um, so you will need to check the website for that but there's nothing on here whatsoever. Okay so the next one was I believe it was was it brunch? Yeah brunch. So it's this one here. So that was chauffeur then we've got brunch. So much more of a natural kind of shade. that colour too. It's like a just a classic uh, I would say a little bit more of a um, apricot brown kind of shade. Oh, absolutely beautiful. So that one is brunch. I won't let it dry down this time because obviously we've done that. Actually it's drying down quite quickly. Really love it. 
it doesn't feel tight on the lips either once you've let it dry down it's very very comfortable in fact it's so lightweight that once it dries down I cannot feel it on the lip at all right let's take this one off using a little bit of my hot cloth cleanser uh, when it's removing it as you can see it's a white cream but it's removing it beautifully again I'll just pat that down a little bit with the foundation that I've used today okay so the third one is I think from memory it's ballerina so it's that one there ballerina I must pick up um, some wipes that reminds me okay so this one is ballerina this this is much more of a warm pink beautiful mm. I love that I love the scent as well but like I say it does go oh that is just a beautiful pink so that is ballerina oh my goodness I'm obsessed with this one that is just gorgeous it's drying down fairly quickly this one but again I don't know it's just got that very lightweight powdery um, you know it's a perfect lip product because there's no um, dryness um, my lips don't feel tight Oh my goodness, I think I'm obsessed with that shade. I thought I was going to love Chauffeur the best, but actually, so far, I do love Chauffeur as well. In fact, I love Chauffeur, I love brunch, but I think Ballerina is something a little bit different. It's warm, it's beautiful. Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, so I don't want to take it off, but obviously I can always reapply, but beautiful. Again, I'm just going to pat my lips down. Just the Kabuki brush with a little bit of um, foundation left over on there. The next one is Dollhouse. That one there, the deepest pink that I've got. In fact, the deepest shade that I've got today. So Dollhouse. Again, the same scent. Again, a beautiful colour. Really, really beautiful. Um, oh, just stunning. I think this might be the deepest shade of pink that they do. Um, it's very rare, actually. I know that um, with liquid lipstick, new collections, you get a lot of browns, um, but it's 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 nice to have pink um, and this is a real rich like a strawberry pink isn't it so yeah really really like this one and what I also like from the collection is that they're actually drying down um, the same color because a lot of times when I put on liquid lipsticks I will look at it in the tube and it looks beautiful you know I bought it because of that color but actually when you apply it it changes it goes a lot deeper or it changes to another color completely. I've had that um, with um, some um, high street drugstore brands where it, on my lips, 
a lot of it went a totally different colour and they all went the same colour. So I don't know if it's the pigment in my lips or what it was. But these are drying down the same colour. Obviously they look shiny to start with but they are drying down matte. But that is just beautiful. Oh, love it. And each one has dried down the same colour that you can see it, you know, swatched. Um, so yeah, really, really love that. Okay, so let me just remove this. Yeah, I put a little bit too much of the hot cloth cleanser on, but never mind. But it's removing it very, very well indeed. Okay, so again, just pat that down. So we're now going back to the very last one, which is the nudest out of the collection. And this one is called, um, I can't remember. Oh, Darling, wasn't it? Yeah, Darling. Okay, so this is Darling. So this is much more of a, a nude color. So that is Darling. Um, I think this is the first one that I'm not 100% on. I do like liquid lipsticks with a little bit of a pink um, hue to it. Perhaps, I don't know, I'm just not that keen. I did waver between two shades and I went with the Darling because they. I'm sure they said that it was a pink um, there was pink in there somewhere, but this has not got pink at all. It's much more of an apricot nude. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure if it goes with my skin tone. I'll have to get used to it a bit more. Um, out of the five, I think this is my least favorite. Um, I think my favorites were Chauffeur and Ballerina. I But I loved uh, Brunch and I also loved Doll's House or Dollhouse as well. Um, the formula though is just outstanding and in fact now that this is drying down um, I am liking it a little bit more when it was shiny I didn't like it but dried down I like it a little bit more um, yeah and I think I might have to use the chauffeur lip liner just to deepen it up a little bit it's just because I suppose it's quite light as well even though it's not that light but because I've got quite deep um, hair and eyes I do like something um, a little bit um, in fact I might just put that chauffeur lip liner on now and see if I like it a little bit more I've got so much hot cloth cleanser on my hands now um, I can't get the lid off there we go With the lip liner, I can wear it. I feel much more comfortable with a lip liner on. Um, and it immediately, it works. I don't know what it is about that chauffeur lip liner, but it is just outstanding. The color, wow, just love it. Everything seems to work for me with that lip liner on. And that color, um, darling, certainly works with the lip liner for my coloring. But yeah, love that now. Okay, um, so what I'll do is I'll now give you a little bit of a review. Um, and also if I do get any more of the shades, I will be doing a part two for you. Um, so I thought I would do a little bit of a taster because obviously, you know, they're five pounds a pop. I think there's about 10 in the collection. So that would be, no, 14 in the collection. So that would obviously be quite expensive if I didn't like the formula. So I thought I'd get five to try. And obviously I've got, you know, lighter, nude, pink, 
um, a little bit more of an apricot nude and you know a deeper shade as well so I hope that gave you a little bit of an all-rounder of what kind of shades that um, are on offer um, like I say they're five pounds um, they're only available from revolutionbeauty.com at the moment um, really love the packaging and I really like the fact that this is now um, quite a matte effect you can't it's not clear and shiny like a lot of their other lip products. So I like that because if you're like me, I just pop everything in a drawer and I'm going to know that this is a matte liquid lipstick because of the actual packaging. So I really like that. Also like the fact that they've changed it a little bit and added an R there in the top. I just wish that they would make the um, names a little bit larger. I find it so difficult to read the names, um, like I say, I must get that magnifying glass. It will make it so much easier because I have to memorize the actual um, names, which is not too bad with five, but if I had the whole 14, it would be a disaster. So I do need that. Um, the product itself, I really, really love the, um, the applicator. I've got a little bit of unevenness, so I don't have it as really strong um, outline especially here on my lip so I like um, quite an easy applicator and I do find that this was very easy to align the lip first and then sweep it across the lip so the applicator love that um, regarding the scent it's um, quite strong um, and fruity but I wouldn't say that it is so strong that I cannot wear it. I do actually suffer from, um, if I smell some scents, it really does make me have a headache and feel quite ill sometimes. This isn't that kind of scent, um, for me anyway. And when I applied it, so when I get the applicator and I'm going like this, yes, I can smell the um, scent, but once you've taken that applicator away and the lip lipstick is on your lips you cannot smell it anymore so don't be put off by the scent but obviously if you have a real aversion to scent then do try one and um, you know that would probably be um, better for you try one see how you get on and then obviously purchase more but for me I do have quite a strong aversion to a certain scent but this is okay for me so getting on to the actual product, how it feels on the lip. Obviously I've mentioned it when I was applying um, the liquid lipsticks. Now the drying down time is not as long as the Revolution Pro Supreme Matte Lip Pigments. It's not as long as those. Um, it's a lot quicker, but you've still got time to manipulate the product. Um, if you're like me and you have a little bit of an uneven, unevenness even um, on the lip I was able to manipulate the product um, so you've got enough time to do that um, but when it dries down it dries down there's no stickiness no stickiness whatsoever and it looks like velvet powder you know that kind of um, finish on the lip which I absolutely love um, I'm going to give you a close-up so it looks like that. Um, it dries, like I say, it dries down quite quickly, but not so quickly. It's got a lovely velvety, soft, powdery finish to it. Um, it doesn't feel tight. There's no stickiness. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna be able to tell you if they last for a long period of time. I think if I do another video, a second part two, then I will give you that information. Um, they feel very comfortable, lightweight. Um, they also feel quite moussey to start with um, and I thought actually it was going to be that kind of formula very much like the Revolution Pro because that's quite a um, you know a thicker formula for a liquid lipstick but it's not so it goes on nice and creamy and moussey that kind of um, feel but actually when they dry down it's got quite a thin formula um, and it just feels beautiful um, I can't feel it on my lips you know it's not that kind of product where it's thick and you can really feel it there's none of that it feels lovely light um, lightweight and it's, it just feels absolutely beautiful basically like I've got near enough nothing on my lips I love it. In fact, now I've put the lip liner on, I really love this shade. It's beautiful. And I don't like it. I suppose because I'm so used to pink toned lipsticks, it takes me a little while to get used to it, but I really, really love it. 
gorgeous, absolutely stunning lip product. And I think, well, I hope that I'm now going to be able to share with you the other um, or the rest of the collection. So yeah, as always, I would love your feedback. I'd love to hear perhaps which is your favorite shade. Have you picked these up? What are you thinking to these? Um, I would absolutely love that. Of course, as always, your comments are most, most welcome um, about this product. And of course, if you have just stumbled across my channel, I would love it if you subscribed uh, to watch further videos. Of course, I'm having a break now tomorrow, so I will be back on Monday with something brand new and gorgeous, as always, for you. But until then, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.